Hey, welcome back, folks. Uncle Polly has graced us with an amazing new table called The Games. Honoring the Olympic Games, we're going to do a deep dive tutorial followed by a playthrough right here, right now, on Digital Victory. This is The Games by Gottlieb that came out in 1984. And this version of it, which is absolutely incredible, is by Uncle Polly and a, a wonderful team around them. They've done just amazing work. We're gonna do a full tutorial on all the rules and then we're gonna play and try and beat that 800,000 point mark to win the free game. So let's dive in. The object of the games is to achieve five gold medals. All right, and you can see them here. Shot put, pole vault, javelin, hammer throw, and the discus. And those are represented around the table by the different elements. It's a fairly simple rule set, which I really dig. It's, it's a nice kind of change of pace from what we're used to with modern tables. The five events, Javelin, shot put, hammer, discus, pole vault are all shown down here. And when you complete those events with the gold medal, these will light up. Now on that left lane captured ball, you have two events, javelin and shot put. Those are next to that green light and blue light. Whichever one of those is lit, that's the event you'll get the gold medal in when you complete it. Now to win the gold medal of that event, you have to shoot it up that respective lane at a pretty good pace. You can switch between the green light and the blue light in this lane over here with the capture saucer. So let's just say you complete javelin, you get the gold medal. You can go up that capture saucer once and that'll switch it over to the blue light, which now the shot put is the event in which you'll achieve a medal by going up there. Same thing with the lane next to it. Hammer throw and discus are on the same lane, but whichever one happens to be lit is the one you'll get when you finish it. Pole vault is just a little different. That's a plunger target, and you have to do it five times to the proper depth in order to win the gold medal. Those are the five events. Again, as you achieve each of them, you'll light up the events shown here. Well, these have a couple of purposes in addition to showing which events you completed. Number one, they're bonus multipliers. You'll get 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x and 6x when you get them all lit. In addition to that, when you light all five, that serves as a bonus hold. So you get your bonus really high, you got all five lit, you lose the ball, that's okay. When you get to that next ball, you're gonna have all your bonuses still lit. There's one more thing that the medals represent in that when you achieve two of the medals, you light up a potential extra ball. How do you get it? Well, it's those purple targets up there. You see one on the left center up top and one on the right over here, extra ball. Those you have to hit each twice. Once you've hit each twice, you'll light up the shoot again light here for the extra ball. Now this right capture saucer there, in addition to alternating between the events here, it also can possibly give you a collect bonus award if you get it in there enough times to light up that yellow light there that says collect bonus. Once you do that, it will give you all your bonus that you have lit up, but then they all go out and you have to achieve more bonuses. But it's still a very positive thing and definitely worth doing. How do you light the bonuses? Well, different targets around the table will light those bonus lights. In particular, the rollovers up top. There's four of them, four lanes that you see there. The two inside lanes will give you one step of bonus that outside lanes will jump at 3x, which is very, very useful. In addition to that, the in lanes will also advance your bonuses three times, and those purple targets can also advance your bonuses. All in all, like I said, it's not a particularly deep rule set. Again, I like that. It's a fun table regardless. What are the keys though? What are the keys to doing well here and getting that free game. Number one, slow down. Take it easy. 
This is a table that's kind of unusual in that whenever the ball seems to come towards a flipper, I've noticed you could just let it go and it'll almost always bounce to that other flipper. I tend to let it go a lot when it comes down because generally it'll pop right over to the other flipper where you can control it. It's not a table that you have a lot of control and that you cradle the ball constantly, but you can definitely knock it softly to the other flipper and get a nice slow roll down. Number two, make sure you get that extra ball. Once you get that second metal lit, get that extra ball. Again, the extra ball is achieved by the two purple targets there. You have to hit each one twice. And the third key to doing well at this table is that second lane over with the spinner. That spinner is the key for a couple reasons. Number one, you get a thousand points per spin. It may not seem like much, but you only need 800,000 to win a free game. And I'm not kidding. A good rip through there can bring you 50 to 75 grand just from the spins. I mean, that thing spins wonderfully. That is a great spinner. And the ball goes up to the top area with the rollovers. And remember, those two outside rollovers, if you're able to nudge and get the ball to go down the outside lanes, that jumps your bonus 3x. So huge advantage to shooting it up that lane repeatedly. And there you go. Those are the three keys to this table. I'm going to go for that 800,000 point mark. Try and win a free game. Wish me luck. All right, let's do it. Ah, careful. All right, so medal number one has been achieved. So I did get the first medal and again, I can switch it over to the green light button by going up that capture saucer there. Uh, see if I can't hit that captured ball first. Apparently not. But in the meantime, I'll switch it over and see if I can't get that other one going. There we go. Hey, let's go. Oh, shoot. Pay attention, Ed. Pretty good first ball, though. Pretty good first ball. Got a couple of medals. Had the bonus pretty high. But you notice that's all reset. Nothing carries over on this table. <laughs> this is not a carryover table in any way. So just know that going in. Ah, careful. Ah, remember what I said, slow down? Well, I didn't and I need to. <laughs> there we go. All right, there's one metal. Okay. You notice I lit one of those lights up. You got to do it five times, like I said, in order to get the pole vault metal. Now remember, oh shoot. I already had that metal up that inside spinner there, but it's always good to hit the spinner. 
Just rip that spinner constantly and you'll do well. Eey. Eighty-four Olympics. I believe that was the LA Olympics, wasn't it? All right, so we've lit up the blue light now, which will hey, and I uh, got my bonus. So that blue light represents the discus award. So if I can shoot it up that spinner, I'll get the second medal. Hey, real quick, guys, let me jump in here. Did you hear that World of Virtual Pinball got their YouTube channel shut down? Uh, not sure what happened there, but fear not, they're back up and running on Rumble. So make sure you check it out. I got the link below. They're great guys and they deserve our support. For the discus there. Ah, shoot. Hey, there we go. Let's go. Slow down. Woof, careful. Oh no! Woof! That was scary. And the reason it was scary is because I had the extra ball uh, targets lit. Those purple targets that will grant an extra ball. I have to hit those. They're not real easy, but we'll keep trying. All right, got one over there on the right. Hit that bumper. Hit it over there. Ooh, careful. Jeez. Only got... Okay, I got to hit the purple one on the left. The one on the right is complete. If I hit the purple one on the left that's blinking, I'll have that extra ball. Ooh. Hit it. Oh my goodness. Get it. Not an easy target to hit. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay, I've got three of the medals. I got pole vault and javelin to go. Uh, javelin's over here, and I got to light up the green light in order to get it. So, either one of those lanes on the right would be good to go up. So, try for that. Split the difference, of course. Hey, but look at the bonuses. Let's go. Uh oh. <laughs> Son of a gun. Oh, man. Look at that score, though. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. Hey, that's the first time I've broken a million on this table. I love it. So, again, nothing carries over. There goes my three gold medals I had, but that's all right. It was worth it. Wow. That's what I get for not uh, slowing down, like I said. Okay, third ball. It's all gravy at this point. Let's have another one like we did on the first ball. <laughs> uh, Murphy's Law, but hey, 1.2 million. Let's go. 1.2 million. I love it. Hey, this is the games by Uncle Polly and his awesome team. Really cool table. I dig it quite a bit. Hope you guys learned something, and I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.